Gambia is honored and feels a great sense of pride to host the 28th ordinary session of the Council of Ministers of Africa Rights Center, the premier center for excellence for rights research and development on the African continent. In my capacity as chair of council, I would like to extend a warm fraternal Gambian welcome to all the delegations observers and invited guests who have spared no effort to make the journey to our source and are present here today in this August assembly. This impressive level of participation by nearly all member states testifies to the strong ownership of Africa rights by its shareholders that is the 24 member states, and to the growing importance of rice as a strategic commodity for Africa's food security and prosperity. I do not wish to digress too much from today's event, which is especially charged with deep emotional significance for me. As many of you might know, and I think we have seen it on I have been a direct beneficiary of Africa Rice Technologies, having personally owned the Nerica rice varieties on my farm for several years, and also tirelessly encouraged the Gambian people to follow this example in my call to go back to the land. The principal objective of my back to the land call is to ensure that Gambians are full self-sufficient. Without doubt, Nerica rice can play a very significant role in fulfilling this objective. My conviction is that the development of Africa must be premised on a strong agricultural sector characterized by not only food self-sufficiency, but food surplus and food exports. And a strong agricultural sector cannot happen without being accompanied by strong research. That is why the Gambia, as a founding member of WADA, that is the West Africa Rice Development Agency, now Africa Rice, has given its full support to the center and to the entire Gambian research establishment. The result of our national rice development strategy are now visible to the whole world. FAO estimates that the rice production in Gambia increased by 236 percent in 2008 compared to the year 2007, which is the highest among the rice producing countries in sub Saharan Africa. We are deeply gratified to see the successful outcome of our rice strategy to recognize the contribution of Africa rice in this success. I therefore, therefore, on behalf of the 24 member countries, seize this opportunity to congratulate and thank Africa rice for demonstrating true leadership of the African rice sector. I think we should clap for that. I would like to reiterate here what I have previously uh, conveyed to Africa Rice Director General Dr. Uh, Abbasek in 2009 when he called on me at State House that no other agricultural research institution has benefited the Gambia and Africa as much as Africa Rice. It is important to note that the Director General and his team have been relentless in their advocacy for support to the rice sector in our continent. That is why since 2007, the number of member countries has risen from 17 to 24, and several more countries 
are expected to join. I am pleased to note that the Centers for Africanism, for, for African uh, credentials have been further portrayed under the Gambia's Chairman of Council. With the recent signing of a memorandum of understanding with the African Union Commission. This cannot but be a visionary move in the right direction to ensure that there is dialogue between political leaders and scientists to promote rights development on the continent and move Africa forward. Please permit me to, before I close, to share some key observations for sober, sober reflection and give a few words of advice. One, despite all the progress we have made with record rice production in recent years, the African continent continues to depend on imports for nearly 40% of its rice consumption. We remain exposed to highly unpredictable external supply and price shocks. Africa, therefore, still has a long way to go before rice self sufficiency can be realized. Number two, Africa rice needs to invest more and concentrate on capacity building of our national research systems. More farmer training on production of quality seeds and more focused technology transfer so that more technologies reach our farms. Number three, all is not lost. <coughs> I fully share the Director General's conviction that uh, Africa, Africa's predicament in rice production can be reversed. The continent has the potential not only to become self-sufficient in rice, but also to become a net exporter as its comparative advantage lies in its huge reservoir of underutilized agricultural land and water resources. Before I wish the Council success in its deliberations, I would like to make a surprise announcement. I would like to offer a special President Yaya Jami Agricultural Prize by annually at each Council of uh, Council of Ministers session to the person joined to be the best rice, uh, rice producer in any one of the Africa Rice members.